back to Access Carolina. The stories of a lake monster told to hundreds of Greenville County school students over the decades by their teacher is now a book and it's being made into a movie. We've got that retired teacher here. She's Kelly T Tabor Cromer, along with author filmmaker Richard Rossi. Welcome you both, glad you're here. Thank Thanks, you. Margaret. Uh, Kelly, you grew up near Lake Champlain and when you grew up, you were hearing stories about the lake monster and looking for it, right? Tell us about that. That is correct. My father had a cabin on Lake Champlain mm -hmm. and I spent my summers there. There were stories of people that I've seen champ, I've, family members have seen champ, friends have seen champ, so I was always looking for champ all of my life. And even when I go back to New York, I still search for him. It's kind of a magical thing, which is which yes. is why that makes such a great uh, subject for a story. Your main character in your story, Lucy, is an yes. orphan girl. She's mocked for believing in Champ. Um, walk us through kind of the premise of the story. Okay, the premise, Lucy goes through a lot of hardships. She's struggling with battles inside within her because mm -hmm. she's lost her mother and, and father. And then also she's got struggles outside. So, and she's got other people her age picking on her, bullying her. So I think the premise would be overcoming and persevering through those difficult times with the support group that you have around. Yeah, and always and, helps. And I think it's neat to imagine you kind of developed this story as a teacher. Mm -hmm. You're you're talking to your students. You're you're sharing these stories with students. What was that like? Well, it was wonderful because naturally, as a teacher, I help students through difficult things. Mm -hmm you know, the mountains and the valleys. And so when I went into that role, helping Lucy through hers, it kind of came naturally for me. Very good. And then you worked to write the book along with Richard. Okay. Um, you've got the book signing coming up this Saturday. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Mm -hmm. um, but first, Richard, talk to us about the process now of making this book into a movie. Yeah, it's very cinematic uh -huh. because, um, you know, her journey to find this lake monster. And so we went up to the actual lake where Champ's mm -hmm. been spotted. It's Lake Champlain borders New York and Vermont and we shot this past summer, and the film's in post-production, and as you know, the editing is a big part of telling that story, so I just finished editing the rough cut, and then we have a second editor polishing that to, to get it ready for the end of the year to screen here. Uh, we're looking forward to coming back and showing the film here. Yeah, how thrilling that is. Yes. Um, yes. You both have roles in the movie. Kelly, you play the part of the main character's teacher. That must have felt like a pretty natural thing. Yes, it did. Yeah, um, and Richard, you play Lucy's grandfather. Um, talk to us about that role, what that experience has been like. Well, I just became a grandfather for the first time. Yep. And so I had a lot emotionally to draw on. We have a wonderful lead actress playing Lucy. Her name's yes. Emma Pearson, and she was eight. So we built a connection and a bond rehearsing. She was in New York, I was in Hollywood, so we did it via Zoom, yes. you know, rehearsing the scenes. And I just uh, really excited to play Papa. You know, your casting changes. I've been an actor for a couple decades now. And uh, playing, I had to accept playing the grandpa parts now because I actually am a grandpa. Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's where it's going to fit. And, and Kelly, talk about now at this point, you know, we're seeing the videos of, of the shoots and the signings. Did you ever imagine when you were teaching kids and kind of using this as a story to tell them that, that it would grow to this level? No, I never imagined in a million years. My students used to love my stories. Uh -huh. They used to ask me when we got our work finished, tell us a story, tell us a story. And so I would, and they were always really excited, especially the ones about the Lake Champlain monster, Champ. And yeah. so they used to say, please write a book, please write a book. And so the children at Paris Elementary that I taught for 27 years, I took your word. <laughs> and I, with Richard's encouragement, too. They ought to be in the credits. I'm sure they're in there <laughs> somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah. Developing this story took some team effort. We have a lot yeah. of thanks and acknowledgments. That's going to scroll for a while. So we've written some original music. for. The, so we have about three or four songs. While yeah. We thank all the locals here that inspired yeah. it. Incredible. Well, we're certainly looking forward to the release of the movie coming up later this year. Um, you do have a book signing. Let's talk about that. It's coming up on Saturday, May 27th, starting at 11 a.m. at the Barnes & Noble at the shops at Green Ridge. What do you hope somebody uh, gains from the experience? Maybe when they come out and talk to you, you sign the book. You love connecting with people this way. Yes, and I hope to see a lot of my students there from the past as well. That would be great. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. We'll be looking forward to that movie. Have a great one. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Margaret.